Hey guys, what's up? You're watching Papu. Today, there is a new battle rap to be explained. And I have to say that it's one of the best battle raps I think I'm going to explain because the match was indeed very exciting. Um, first of all, let me introduce you what I was playing, what was the um, mission, the ITS mission I was playing. And let's talk a little bit about everything. So, first of all, that was um, the list I was playing, and you might be wondering why is Papa playing 325 points instead of just 300? Well, the reason why is because um, I'm practicing for uh, a match that, uh, that I'm playing within um, kind of a, a background story where some people might support different armies and then because of that you're getting some bonus okay so most of the people are supporting the GSA um, sectorial okay and that allows them to deploy at 40 centimeters long and to start first in particular just in a nutshell okay the the EC okay the combined army basically have to support combined army there's no other option and just get 25 points extra all right so that's the reason why so because of those 25 points extra that i'm getting i just decided not to use the core that fire team core that i'm using sometimes well actually most of the times um with the gakis and the osner okay and still uh playing like limited insertion okay like 10 orders okay so basically I'm playing a right two but not the expensive one but just this one I still don't really know how to make the most of it with the other profile okay with the mind dispenser and the and the um, shotgun I know how to play the shotgun but the mind dispenser is still a bit like mm, do I really need to pay like two or three po actually four points more for that I don't know I'm not I'm not sure Anyway, I couldn't fit it in, so I just decided to play this list. So I'm playing this Raider with multi ASMD and Hair Flame Thrower. Uh, I really like this this Harris, okay, this fire team with a Sograd AP ASMD and a Fever Back, okay, with Sword Pistol. That Sword Pistol is very important. Some people sometimes uh, get distracted and don't just pay attention to extra weapons that um, some troops are carrying. Then there's this corner lieutenant with MK12 and light flame pro pistol. I mean, it's corner, you know him. Then I'm playing two Ecodrons because they're just too good not to be played. Um, I'm playing an engineer because I need to repair right to. Uh, and I'm playing a slave drone for the same purpose because this guy can do the same thing. And I can keep this guy safe, the Kurgut safe, so maybe Kurgut can connect some antennas, whatever. And then I'm playing a bit hacker, okay, with the well, beaten keys, okay, the air drone, which uh, is just like eight points regular order, and design drone that I really like the profile. Let me just write. The reason why is because it moves six four, which is a lot, and then it's a repeater, so it can be useful with the um, beaten keys. Also uh, has remote presence, so if it gets killed, because it's like an easy order to get killed. But even though uh, I'm playing engineer, so I could stamp him up again. He's a four observer, so he's a specialist, and he's got this sensor and cell lock that are just so good. Okay, so let's talk about the um, the mission I was playing. I was playing hunting party, and it's not because I really like to play this mission, especially. But it's part of the of the story, and so the last match I have to play on this league, let's say, is this hunting party, okay? So it's a bit annoying. I don't really like this hunting party, but anyway. Uh, what's, what are the missions? So basically the missions are to connect the antennas. You get one objective point for each antenna connected. And you have to hunt down more enem enemy specialist troops than the adversary that you get two points and that is something that it took me a, a little bit of time to understand when i was starting this game you have to hunt down as many enemy lieutenant as the adversary okay and you get three objective points 
but only if at least one of the lieutenants is hunted down by the player. And you might be thinking, hey, hold on, but how many lieutenants are you allowed to play? And the reason, I mean, and the, and the answer is just one, okay? But the thing is that when the mission says hunt down, it means that you have to um, either isolate or immobilize um, lieutenants. So if you do so, okay, automatically you have to design another lieutenant. And of course, you can hunt him down again. That's the reason why it says hunt down as many enemy lieutenants as the adversary. Okay? You get three points for that. And to hunt down more, sorry, uh, yeah, and to hunt down more enemy lieutenants than the adversary, it gives you the ridiculous amount of four points. Okay? There are two classified, and that's pretty much it. That's restricted range, so. Okay, VS attack, more than 32 inches, doesn't work. Okay. That's pretty much it. Okay. And, ah, oh, very important thing. And basically, whomever has a pistol automatically gets um, this special ammunition. Uh, let me just read it, which is like, uh, hold on. I think it's explained right here. Uh, yes, so boom, boom, boom. give me a second. Let me just read it. Where is it? Oh my gosh. Antennas, no. Hunting mission. Aha, here we are. So, in this scenario, all the troopers possessing any type of pistol have available also a stun pistol with no additional cost, okay? So this is how you um, immobilize um, enemy lieutenants or specialists, okay? So let's talk a little bit about the uh, about the game. So what that was the game, okay, sorry, that was the table um, before deployment, okay? So there is a long, long, oppa. Let's put this off. So, and let's put this off. Okay. So here we are. Um, so I was playing versus nomads, okay? And basically the deployment area for nomads was this side, all right? That was the deployment area, it was more or less like this. However, I'm telling you that it's actually like that because they can deploy at 40 centimeters and some of the troops using the new rules, the IM basically can deploy even farther than that. So in the end, that was the maximum deployment size, okay? That was the, that part was the center of the table, all right? So where the antennas are more or less, yeah. So this line was the center of the table. All right, and that was my deployment zone with no special uh, abilities, more than 25 points to spend on more monkeys, all right? So here we are, that was my deployment zone, approximately. All right, fine. Let me just move my camera around. Let's see if I can place it right here. Fantastic. So. Opa. Okay. Done. Okay. So these were my two classifieds, okay? Experimental drug and extreme prejudice. I was hoping that at least... Because experimental drug, I'm not playing any doctor so, or, or paramedic, so... It was impossible for me to accomplish that mission, but it was e pretty easy to accomplish extreme pressure dice. If I get in close combat or if I just kill a long range somebody and then I just get close to him and just finish him, okay? That was the idea. So the deployment, uh, as you can see, I decided to take less pictures this time because sometimes I'm taking too much pictures and it's... I'm wondering to myself, is it really necessary to take so many pictures? So, this was um, a core, okay, one, two, three, four, and there was another guy hidden right here, okay? 
and basically this that is a rocket launcher that's an, another rocket launcher that was a guy with flamethrower and combi rifle uh, that was actually the lieutenant okay because in this mission I forgot to, to mention that but in this mission uh, it is public um, you have to basically you have to declare who the lieutenant is and that's public information okay that was a forward observer and that was another guy with boarding shotgun I think something like that um, yeah something like that okay that was another guy that was prone right here just like a normal cheerleader basically there was a, a tower here okay there was these two two robots here that flash balls mimetism okay just to annoy probably in group two uh, what else in this side of the table there was a camo marker here uh, Mr. Massacre was here with uh, making a Harris with two um, that was as well and this robot this ALF robot is basically one of those robots I'm playing to which is like side lock sensor and forward observer moving 6-4 okay and there was a common marker right behind here okay I'm not telling you yet what the marker is so in my deployment area there was this robot that is ALF robot as well that is basically the same idea a the eight point robot, the one echo drone, bead and and that slave drone, okay. I refuse to play worms when I'm playing monkeys, although I have Dr. Worm. So uh, that's bead. Let's go to the other side, that's keys, okay. This is my where my Harris is, so the the fuel rack is on top of the roof. Just ready to get some some arrows. That way that's the HMG, that's another echo drone. Now that's Kornak, okay, in current with uh, being the, the team leader, okay. Now the Kornak is not actually standing right here. It's actually, be, I mean, inside the building, okay, in this corner. So it's actually hidden. Same thing with the engineer, okay. This is both hidden here. But just for uh, um, functionality purposes, I place these guys on top because it's actually easier, okay. I don't want to um, scratch the miniatures or just do funny things with the miniatures trying to you know actually get them in okay and right here sorry I'm the camera is annoying me again and right here that is the the sound log and sensor so if something comes this way and stays here for example I can just activate the sensor and and, and discover wherever is there good so last miniature was McMorrock okay so this guy is pretty annoying and is actually uh, well deployed right here because he's starting his impetus and he's gonna probably deploy some smoke. The most annoying thing is that this guy's got um, <coughs> sorry, this guy's got this um, total immunity. So unless you are playing with some special ammunition, um, he ignores the A, he ignores AP, he ignores explosive he knows nearly everything so it's, it's very good it's very tough and he's got ammo four two woods martial arts small grenades he's moving i mean uh, i don't know in inches sorry i forgot i think it's yeah six four yeah i'm just getting used to inches now okay so i place my uh right to he right here just to provide some good arrows and well i don't know i think it was a, a matter of i don't want this guy to move freely um, around this alley, okay, and basically kill all my others. So I had to put Rachel to, um, well, stop this guy a little bit. <coughs> so first turn, he's starting first, and he decides to move the, as you can see, this guy all straight forward with the petrol order. So I'm just shooting back, I'm missing. So he's putting, uh, okay, so he's moving. He's putting a template, he's moving forward inside the smoke, then he decides to make a speculative uh, complete order. He wants to throw smoke inside the smoke, so he, has, he needs to spend <coughs> a full order to do so. And he succeeds. So sorry, he moves a little bit, touching the smoke, he throws the smoke, and he keeps moving on. And there's a moment here that he plays another speculative, he missed, so he spends another order. So he throws smoke, basically covering all this angle. Let me go back. 
because there is a there is a line here so let's just not yeah perfect red is perfect so basically his idea was if I move straight forward in contact with this guy all the miniatures that are facing all this side are gonna provide an arrow so what he decided it was to spend another order to place some smoke covering all this place all right and by doing so, he can just get in contact with the rate inside the smoke, and no one's gonna get um, an error, okay? So that's what happened. Fine, so finally he gets in contact and we start fighting. The first attempt, uh, incredibly, he missed and I succeed. So I think I wounded him once, but then it was enough. My moral is basically beating, beating me down, beating my rate down, Till uh, he's not completely destroyed, but he's wounded three times, okay? And he runs out of order so he can uh, finish him. Perfect. In the other group, he is relocating the um, heavy rocket launchers in a such a way that finally this line of sight, okay? There is line of sight with my fever back. That was a bit risky, but considering that this guy's got BS-13, plus range minus cover but plus the fire team bonus well it's actually hitting at 16s whereas I'm just um, shooting back at 13s not bad anyway I'm shooting with two dice he's shooting with two di three dice sorry so uh, this is how we ended up okay so mine mine was oh sorry I cut the image but he got unconscious, which was good, so he wasn't fully killed. That makes me, uh, that gives, sorry, that gives me the chance to stem him up by spending a complete order with the um, automatic kit and put him up again. Okay, so that, that was actually good. Right, then this camo marker is moving across, um, actually trying to discover because I've got ammo 6 in cover, so if he wants to shoot me with any weapon, I'm okay. Because he's going to reveal automatically, he's going to stay here, and if he moves again, I can provide an arrow. So, I'm trying to discover, but I miss. Okay, here we go. So, my fuel uh, um, sucker was unconscious and prone, obviously. Because, just for you to remember... Sagarads are IPs but are not tagged, so they can be prone and they don't have any disadvantages on on dodging, alright? So this guy is uh, just moving again, getting out of line of sight. Uh, can't remember what happened here. And finally, let me see. Oh yeah, what happened here is that this guy moved uh, the very back of a house and got in contact he got in the in the he revealed he was a oh, I can't remember now well it we basically was a hacker okay that it killed my my kiss during um, Trinity I re, I answered back with a red room but it wasn't enough so it, I got killed and that was pretty much it can't remember that picture it's my ratio but I think my, my turn started so the first thing I did was, mm, let me just see it a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So my first started, so I had to repair this guy, okay? That was the main idea. So first of all, what I did was I killed the Magmarok, okay? I just uh, started by this guy getting um, up. So because they were in currents, the fire team linked again. And the AP um, HMT just killed this guy. Then with this guy out of the of the uh, scenario, the slave drone just moved, cautious move because remember the what the basically these guys are here. The heavy rocket launcher was covering this line, okay. So, well, not that much. It was more like this, okay. It was more like that. So what I did is, let me change the co well. No, that's fine. So. Uh, I move with the slave drone up to more or less here, okay, and then with a cautious movement, I move getting this, okay, and basically I was just um, trying to get this guy up again, 
and I did it actually. Um, I'm missing one thing. This uh, well, that was hilarious because I passed two rolls and I was trying to shoot at. I know I remember now what this picture is about. So I was trying to kill one of the rocket launchers, and basically he crit me on the way back. And that was annoying because automatically he was dead again, okay? And I had to, again, bring him back to life, okay? I mean, repairing. I was repairing my Rachel all the time. And I spent a lot of orders doing so, but I needed this guy providing arrows. Good. Uh, what else? So, okay, so this guy was up, so I moved this guy. Uh, what else did I do? Not that much. So this guy got killed. I think actually I spent my whole just repositioning. My f turn one was horrible. I was repositioning, getting things done, fixing this guy, fixing the ratio, okay? Trying to shoot at the heavy rocket launcher, but I was screwed, so I had to repair him again. So that was it. So turn two, okay? Uh, he's actually now shooting, and I crit him. So I was like, okay, justice, demand retribution. So that was what happened. Um, that guy was killed, okay, so that's good because the already the fire team is with just four guys, so he's not getting the bonus anymore. Then he's moving all the the Mr. Massacre and the Sujawars with martial arts. I was pretty hidden, so they could move freely across the table. So they were moving, 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 till they got here. I was lucky here because, um, well... <clears throat> I think he made a mistake at this point, but I wouldn't say it's a mistake. It's actually just bad luck, okay? What happened here is that he came here with 10, okay, like 4 inches, and he's shooting at my rubber, but my rubber is in cover and he's not, and I'm carrying um, a combi rifle. So I'm shooting back with 1 dice, he's shooting back with 4 dice with a uh, combi breaker rifle, multi rifle, uh, no, combi breaker um, rifle. And I'm critting him. So then he moves this guy. Let's see if I can uh, cancel. Yeah, here we are. So basically, the, one of these guys now is just killing my guy. And then, because no one is um, saying anything, basically, no one, no one is um, saying the Mr. Massacre or whatever it's called in English. Then he stands up again. Okay. He remakes the, the fire team, so he keeps moving on, all right? As you can see now, he's standing up. He's the, the team leader again. And then he wanted to just get... get um, he wanted to mobilize. Actually, he wanted to kill. That was a bad idea, because that's my lieutenant. It's public information. He wanted to kill my uh, corner that, once again, he was underneath, hidden here, okay? So he was asking me, will I have line of sight if I just stay here? And I said, I think, yeah, why not? So there was a slightly line of sight here with my corner. I think they both are in um, cover. So I'm this, I, I've decided to shoot back with my pistol, actually. And I actually beat him. So this guy went unconscious again, and this time couldn't stand up again because I'm, I'm in line of sight and if he tries with complete order to stand up again I'm gonna shoot him back okay again so what happened here let me see okay so he was unconscious again okay <laughs> and what else so now he's with this guy he's trying to place some smoke here and um, I think you will have to correct us I, I, I'm not sure if we did it right or wrong but the thing is that we consider that all these guys were in cover because if the smoke is placed right here, he's actually getting inside the building. That's what my logic um, would apply. Anyway, so the thing is that this guy gets in close combat with this guy and after two swings, basically, he kills my engineer and then that was the, l the end of this turn. So end of turn two was out. So now my turn three. I'm standing this this man up again, trying to shoot at this guy, and he's actually crit again. Fantastic. Uh, now he was shooting back at 
13s and I was shooting at 14s, okay, because both were in cover, but now he couldn't make, um, he, he wasn't getting the bonus, sorry. He wasn't getting the bonus from being a five members fire team. So I, I was actually, it was, that was actually a good trade. But even though very bad luck in, for me and Rachel is, again, after spending an order to um, save him, is again on the floor. Well, it's not on the floor, but what I mean is <laughs> that it's not useful anymore. So I decided just to go a bit YOLO. I went for the mission because uh, I was running out of, of orders here. I mean, still got like maybe eight orders in total, but feeling feeling that these people are my my last chance to win this game. So getting the HMG ready, I'm just annihilating all these um, fire team one by one. So basically, I just move here. I I basically chose the right angle. Um, I chose the right angle basically to target one of these, the first guy, okay, in a such a way that the guy behind is not able to see me because the first guy is actually the same silhouette and he's basically um, just behind, let's say. I mean, there was no way that this guy could shoot back, okay. Good, so the first guy was killed, then I went for the second one, then I went for the third, okay, so both uh, missile launchers were done, gone, okay, in the end, basically, that's the way I finished, right? Then in his, in his turn, okay, I can see, bad picture, but basically, the guy that was here, um, the guy was, uh, was a silhouette, it was a... Um, uh, token basically he moved here and he's basically shooting this guy he's basically an HMG intruder okay he's killing this guy and then he's trying to kill the AP guy but the AP guy is basically dodging pretty well okay physics 15 so he's dodging shooting with the pistol when it was necessary we're kind of fighting here and that was the end of his turn. Okay, he tried to kill my my Kornak in the end, but and moving these guys uh, and the lieutenant with coordinated orders. Okay, let me just move a little bit more. Exactly. So as you can see, that's the um, intruder HMG. He was trying to kill the most of the people. He ended up killing all my Sagarats. Okay, and then he's moving these people, just annoying all this area, and the lieutenant is hidden right here. That is very important because that's going to determine everything in this game, okay? <laughs> so, he actually made, he accomplished one of the uh, secondary objectives. So, right now he's winning 1-0, okay? So, here is the lieutenant. Right behind here is the, the specialist. None of these guys are specialists. And basically, um... I have less than 75 points, so although all the monkeys will stay because they don't um, fall back, okay? Um, well, all my, my my guys, like the eco drones that were alive, for example, they give irregular orders, and that was a bit of a drag. But in total, after dodging, moving, hiding, okay, trying to get this guy down, there's a moment... He's trying to kill my Kornak. Let's see if I can move, sorry. Let's see if I can move a little bit. He's trying, uh, did I take a picture? Let me see. Oh, that's blurry. I think that was the, the point. So the intruder finally came here with no cover. He's shooting at my Kornak that is right here. And Kornak is just shooting by with the MK12 and I beat him. So the intruder was out. Okay, well, I missed a lot of pictures here because that was the most exciting moment I ever play in my life. So basically, let, let me tell you what happened here. Let me find a nice picture. Right, so let me explain that because the game is up to finish because it's my turn three. I've got four regular orders, one irregular order. I cannot spend in anything else than moving a naked drone, okay? 
and basically this guy is down okay and this guy is placed right here okay so annoying me all this ro this robot is right behind here with a coordinate order so getting very far away from my corner so I cannot stun this guy because he's too far away and the lieutenant is making uh, an order to move from there to here okay that's how my turn three and last turn starts so what I'm doing is I'm moving my corner okay in a YOLO moment because that's the only chance I've got and I want you to learn something from this match as I as I did playing this match uh, sometimes when there's nothing else to do and you have a even if it's like a extremely little chance to win a game by doing something crazy well what else have you got you ain't got nothing to lose so just go for it if you're lucky you you might win the game okay so the first thing I did was I moved my corner right here with no cover anything this guy it, that was right here is just shooting the um, the template with the chain rifle I'm just uh, literally moving on okay <laughs> so I passed the first ammo roll so okay the next I move up to here more or less so basically this guy is shooting me the <laughs> again the rifle this guy is shooting me the flash pulls the other guy not this one but the one that is right here is shooting me the flash pulls again uh, I'm dodging okay I successfully dodge no problem then let me show you let me show you uh, okay that's a good picture so <laughs> right now I was let's say here okay oh I met I met a heart wow lovely so basically I'm just moving okay dodging fantastic uh, and my last order okay that the lieutenant his lieutenant was right here okay so let me just choose change the color now so basically I came here at uh, f uh, see at, at eight inches okay and with the lieutenant being right here and me being and me being right here I'm in cover, he's not, he's, he's, he's shooting the stun pistol, I'm shooting the stun pistol, I'm going at 17s, he's going at uh, 13s, so I'm with going with two dice, he's going with one dice, and in the end he got immobilized, okay? And the game finished, because actually Kona didn't get immobilized, he wasn't killed, he wasn't blinded, he wasn't, <laughs> he survived everything, I was very lucky, I have to say. But that's what I'm trying to uh, explain all the time. So that was, with four orders left, that was the only chance I got, okay, to win this game. So I had to move, 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 ignore everybody else around, okay? So just corner run, okay? And once I'm here, shoot the, with my last order, okay? Because that was the, the, the sick part of all this story. Shoot at this guy and just assume that he's going to fail his... um his ammo rolls and that's it so the game finishes because I'm closing this this game so that was exactly what happened I was very lucky uh, I passed all the ammo rolls from this um, template that was hitting me all the time I was passing all the um, BTS rolls of these guys I have to say that corner especially has got BTS 9 so it's pr actually pretty easy I'm actually going at force no I hit 9 five sorry at fives anyway that's what I'm trying to say um and this is how the battle ended okay so it was very exciting my my, my friend and opponent were, was like like no man no way <laughs> and I was like sorry buddy what what else do I need to tell you like this is a game where you roll dice so everything can happen but it's the first time in my life that I can say that definitely Kona won this game. Because <laughs> normally Kona gets killed like this. It's like he gets shot with shock ammunition and that's the end of Kona, right? So 41 points, gone. Like that. And a, and a Harris is just dismantled so easily. 
that sometimes I actually thought that is it really worth it to play Connor? But after playing this game, I have to say that his BS14 makes a difference. Okay, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this game. Um, I hope you learned something. And I have to say that it was a very amazing game. I was very happy to win. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And whenever I play another battle, I, I come back to you with another bad rep. So see you next time. Bye.